Meghan insists on sticking with the royal title for the rest of her life. It brings more benefits than I thought. Hello friends, welcome to the breaking news of the royal renegade couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. The royal family will be very disappointed to hear this, that Meghan Markle has given up on her intention to separate from the royal family after an interview with Princess Eugenie and Beatrice. Not only was it not possible to get this stinking demon out of England, but now it intends to be more closely tied to Windsor Palace to suck the royal blood. Neil Sean noted that Meghan had previously overlooked the significance of titles, citing a very reliable source. The Duchess is now keen to hold on to the titles, though, after seeing how helpful they have been for Meghan's friends, Eugenie and Beatrice. The Duchess of Sussex had previously seemed to downplay the significance of royal titles during Meghan's shocking interview with Oprah Winfrey. She said at the time, I'm not personally attached to any of the grandeur that surrounds this stuff. I've worked as a waitress, an actor, a princess, and a duchess, but I was always just Meghan, right? Independent of all that, I've always known exactly who I am. And being a mother will always be the most significant title I hold. I am aware of that. Mr. Sean asserted that Meghan has now undergone a profound change of heart, with regard to titles nevertheless. Speaking on his daily headline news YouTube channel, Neil Sean said, The royal titles are something Harry and Meghan want to hold on to. After much thought, Meghan determined that the titles would be beneficial for both her and both of her children. Senior members of the royal, especially princesses Eugenie and Beatrice, became close friends with Meghan. After that, Meghan understood the value of a title, especially if you want to network with the right people. They wish to cling on to their titles for that reason. He brought up the fact that Harry and Meghan are both frequently referred to as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at functions. Mr. Sean went on. It's essentially coming down to the fact that she became friends with Beatrice and Eugenie and saw the value of their titles to them. Prince Andrew, their father, had to work extremely hard to ensure that his kids received such titles. This occurs amid growing rumors that King Charles may take action to revoke a few of their titles and prevent their children, Archie and Lilibet, from inheriting them. According to a royal expert, Meghan and Harry should stop using their titles as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in their professional endeavors. According to Marlene Koenig, a royal historian, the emphasis should be on how titles are utilized rather than on eliminating them. You may live in America and have a title, she said, but the use of that title in business is the big problem. Harry and Meghan have already lost their HRH titles, as well as a number of other royal patronages and ties. Many people expressed doubts about Meghan's modesty in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. This must be a first. I am just Meghan, right? Never heard her say this before. But I remember Harry saying loud and clear, just call me Harry. She has got more faces than Big Ben if she is now claiming to be just Meghan. Then she will accept losing her titles with a gracious gesture by saying, I never wanted them in the first place. But we all know that is another lie, and those titles are priceless to her and Harry. Now is your chance, King Charles. What a good time to do the job. You did it to Andrew, your brother. Now let Meghan see. She might always get what she wants from Harry, but you are made of stronger stuff. If you can't do it, give Parliament permission to go ahead and take their titles away. This is the price they should pay for the disrespect they've shown towards family and firm. It is a fact that Meghan didn't need to talk to Beatrice and Eugenie to know how beneficial having a title is. She flaunted her duchess title at every verse end. When booking a table for dinner, which often costs around 5K, she always ensures that the booking clerk knows who she is. 
I believe they are both worried about the chance that King Charles may take their titles removed. If she loses her title, she'll have to learn what it is like for millions of women worldwide who use the title Mrs. Megan is a narcissist. She knew fine and well about titles. Trying to dismiss them is complete and utter bullshit and was a pathetic pity play. She wants to merge those kids and wants those titles so she's set for life. Again, coming from a narcissist, it's about control and what can benefit them. There's no emotional empathy in that creature, just a facade. She can't stick to the facts. She has to invent her truth to create a narrative. Thankfully, more people are calling her out and more people are grasping narcissism. When you are a member of the royal family, you should be a representative of the royal family. She and Harry, with all their lies, constantly try to take down the royal family. And now she wants her title because what would she do if she couldn't throw their titles around to get the best private table at her favorite restaurant or use it to have a platform for her own agenda? The royal audience said that the story of Harry and Meghan is a brilliant children's cartoon program called Bluey, and it's about a family. In one episode, a friend comes over, and on the way, his dad tells her she's special. All morning, the child won't follow any rules in games, saying, I don't have to, I'm special. When the dad overhears, he explains she is special to him and her mom, but not to anyone else and she has to follow the rules. I thought this was Meghan Markle's problem. Her dad told her she was special without telling her not to anybody else, and her narcissistic behavior is the result of Thomas ending up suffering because of his overindulgence. One insider commented, Harry and Meghan absolutely need to have their titles taken away. They want to use them only for the purposes of monetary gain and entrance into the elite power society. They have already tainted the royal family and the monarchy. What a shame Queen Elizabeth didn't deal with this problem when she was living. Their little children should definitely not be given titles. Americans won't listen to all of the garbage those people put out day after day with their titles. Enough is enough. If King Charles doesn't realize the damage those two are doing to the monarchy, he is a weak fool. Another said, please, King Charles III, take away Harry and Meghan's titles and do not give the unknown children any titles. They have sullied the monarchy and the royal family and Americans are tired of them using their titles here to make obscene amounts of money for them. Those two should have stayed in Great Britain, but they wanted to be Hollywood celebrities. This is what a royal title has come down to. People will soon want the monarchy PT done away with if this continues. What do you think if Meghan Markle refuses to give up her royal title? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.